Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the MAPD talk and I'm Veda Shankar. I'm part of the community at MAPD and we have Vamsi. Uh, he is a data scientist at MAPD. <coughs> so what is MAPD? Uh, MAPD is an extreme uh, analytics platform uh, with a GPU powered uh, SQL engine and uh, so you can uh, ingest data uh, into MAPD uh, using you know, uh, the different connectors like S3, uh, Hadoop, Kafka, JDBC, and uh, bring it into MAPD core, which is a columnar database. Uh, and so what you have is uh, a columnar database that is built ground up with uh, making use of the inherent parallelism that is with GPUs. And uh, <coughs> there's a number of uh, uh, optimizations that we do. Um, now, so you have the, the core, which is the, uh, the database, and then we have the immerse, which is the UI. And uh, so how do we, uh, one of the main intent of uh, MapD was to, when you have a lot, when you have a lot of, uh, data and you want to analyze it visually uh, in uh, real time. And uh, so when you're talking about uh, data sets, we're talking about billion row data sets. And um, the, the way we achieved is we have uh, optimized a lot of the SQL you know, uh, operations. Uh, for example, filtering, uh, which uses the where operation or segmentation, which uses the group by op uh, operation. So these have been optimized and we use a, a technique called just-in-time uh, <coughs> compilation. So we use the LLVM uh, approach where we create an intermediate, intermediate code and then depending on the backend, whether it's an uh, GPU or uh, an x64 or an ARM, we create the final code. And uh, this allows us to run on multiple platforms, but of course on GPU uh, we have extremely great performance. And uh, we also try our best to keep the data as much as possible in the GPU memory. Uh, and we also uh, try to vectorize um, most of the SQL uh, uh, query execution, and so that way it can leverage the GPU platform. Now on uh, MapD Immerse, which is our visual front end, uh, it makes use of the, uh, the backend uh, MapD core database. Uh, we support uh, very complex uh, charts like point map, uh, uh, scatter plots, uh, and also GIS representations. At the same time, we also support standard uh, charts like bar chart, uh, line charts and um, pie maps and uh, <coughs> the, the way we do is the simple ones are rendered on the front end uh, on the browser using D3. For the back end we leverage the, uh, uh, the back end GPU to make use of the graphics pipeline. So we do the rendering and then we create a rasterized image which is then sent to the client. So that way we are just sending the PNG files uh, for all the complex uh, you know, uh, rendering. Now, it will all become very clear when I talk about a lot of data at extremely fast pace by doing a very quick demo. I know this is a very short talk. So you can also go and try this. You can go, by, uh, go to mapd.com slash demos. And we have a number of demos here with very large data sets that are hosted on our website. And they're all running on GPUs. Uh, so I picked the taxi demo. This is like one of the smaller ones. It just has about a billion rows. And uh, <coughs> so we have the, the point map, which shows the different locations. And, uh, and then you have the different payment types as a bar chart. So that's a simple one. And then <coughs> you have the, the line map. Now, I'm going to click on credit, which shows how many people use a credit payment. And you'll notice that all the charts got 
you know, uh, filtered at the same time. So the, the SQL uh, operation was applied across all the charts. And when you have a mix of all these complex and simple charts together on a single dashboard, it really gives you real insights into a lot of data. And there is no pre-aggregation or um, <coughs> pre-indexing of data. This is raw data. You can even go and add a filter like um, select the database and say, hey, I want to find out who are the uh, folks uh, who are using credit versus cash. Is it happening more when the amount of amount is greater than 20? So as you can see, uh, the, <coughs> the global filter gets applied to all the, the different charts. So now this is all achieved by keeping most of the uh, data in GPU memory and as you have an orders of magnitude faster. So I'm going to now uh, sh uh, hand it over to Wamsi who's going to talk about how we uh, make use of this in our machine learning pipeline. Hello, good morning everyone. So uh, as Veda mentioned, like I'm a data scientist at MAPD. So, uh, so the traditional machine learning pipeline, as you can see, uh, one on the leftmost corner is like going through Spark and then uh, pre-processing your data through Python and doing machine learnings on CPU. And then uh, GPUs came across and we started doing it on GPUs. Like MapD, as uh, it is mentioned, it's a GPU database hosted on GPUs and then with Python machine learning. But the problem with the second one is like, we have to go copy the data to the host memory in order to do something. When I say host, I mention the CPU. And uh, it takes a lot of amount of time, especially uh, there is a vast latency when uh, there is a large amount of data. So then uh, and it, uh, MAPD became the founding member of an initiative called GoAI Initiative, which stands for GPU Open Analytics Initiative. So the idea of the initiative was to do everything on the GPUs without copying data on the CPU memory with the help of pointers, like passing the pointers in virtual RAM. So as I mentioned, MAPD is a founding member along with uh, Anaconda, uh, previously known as Continuum, and H2O AI. So MAPD has their own database on GPU. Uh, uh, Anaconda has provided PyGDF, which is pandas-alike data frame on GPUs, and H2O has their machine learning algorithms, which uh, widely consist of uh, linear regression, logistic regression, and generalized linear modeling on GPUs. So the good thing about it is, is like they all pass pointers to each other, so we don't copy data to CPU memory, and it makes analytics much faster. So. Uh, a traditional machine learning pipeline, so a lot of people and a lot of processes have been included in various stages. So the one uh, uh, like bottleneck regarding this process is like uh, there are a lot of people and like we use a lot of tools in a tradi traditional data science analytics cycle. And uh, sometimes there is a drawback or like sometimes there is a little bit waste of time like talking to these people or so using various tools. So the idea, another idea and objective of GoAI initiative was to do everything on a similar platform and we can use GPUs which have like large number of cores and which are spe uh, specifically good at some specific operations like uh, matrix multiplication and mathematical operations and which in turn gives us high speed. And also we are on the same platform, so we can eliminate different number of tools talking on different processes aware and on CPU memory. And so, yeah, uh, so uh, I can show you the uh, notebook, but it is here on uh, Go, uh, Go AI and uh, in initiative docker uh, and also we have our own notebook examples on mapd ml so we have the docker instances so you can just download it spin it up and use it uh, i'll give you a good walkthrough so and we are also active on community so please uh, share your valuable feedback after visiting the websites and uh, and uh, happy to raise an issue or share a feedback we'll be happy to help you and uh, so basically something looks like this. This is the repository. So this is the recent project which we did with Volkswagen uh, using um, MAPD and uh, 
all doing all analytics on GPUs and we used XGBoost in then one specific uh, project. So the data is masked for obvious reasons, but you can just go ahead and check it out. Like there is a whole lot of workflow which you can explore it over there. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Just want to add one thing is we recently launched our uh, the product also in the cloud. So you can go to mapd.com slash cloud and try. Uh, you, you'll get your own GPU in the cloud uh, with the MapD software installed. There is no credit card asked. So you should be able to just, you know, go ahead and use it for like, I think 15, 14 days uh, free trial. And we also have pre, uh, we have some preloaded uh, data sets. The taxi example that I just showed, uh, you should be able to use that also. Uh, and then you can bring your own data set through S3. Uh, we have instructions for that. Uh, so thank you.